1992 proved to be something of a vintage year for aircraft types displaying at Farnborough and featured in particular a variety from the former Soviet Union, now the CIS and Ukraine. The event is held every two years and includes both military and civil participants. We preview the civil and historic aircraft displays now. Saab displayed two turboprop airliners, the A340B, and a 50-seat derivative, the Saab 2000, from the Sakata division of Aerospatiale, the TBM 700. The FFA Bravo from Switzerland is an aerobatic trainer. BAE showed the latest jet stream development, the 41, and one of the RJ family of commuter transports, this the 85. Also from BAE, the ATP. Another regional jet, the Canadair RJ. To helicopters, and the Anglo-Italian EH-101, the IAR-330 license-built Puma, the MIL-17 NATO codename HIP, and at least pretending to be a helicopter, the revolutionary Optica. The MIL-26 codename HALO is the heaviest and most powerful helicopter in production and holds many payload records. Heralding a new era of Russian aircraft production, the Tu-204 is powered by Rolls-Royce engines. The Antonov-72, codenamed Kola, employs novel engine placement to augment its stall capability. And the Airbus A340, the first four-engine design from this very successful European consortium. The Pitt Special, aviation's equivalent of Formula One. Also stressed for aerobatics, the FLS Sprint 160. But it was the Sukhoi Su-29 which stole the show. To describe its performance as amazing would be an understatement. Historic aircraft displayed, including the Fairy Firefly and the Fairy Swordfish, both the only flying examples of their type, the Hawker Hurricane, mainstay of the Battle of Britain, and the Mosquito, the Wooden Wonder. Britain's most famous historic aircraft must surely be the Spitfire and the Lancaster, displayed here by the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight. Though Farnborough is a big trade event with a massive indoor exhibition, this video concentrates on action in the air. Intended for enthusiasts who have reference material in print, we do not interrupt the extended vision and hi-fi stereo sound with narration or music. Aviation Action is pleased to present its production of the Civil and Historic Displays at Farnborough International, 1992.